This episode of One on One is brought to you by ATV. One on One goes to the people with Farai Mutambanengwe, father of two wives, I mean two children. <laughs> welcome, <laughs> Baba. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Gary. President of the Small Medium Enterprise. Executive officer. Wow, chief executive. He's the big man. <laughs> But we have a big problem in Africa and a huge problem in Zimbabwe. Unemployment, underemployment, and your own members having really no access to grow their enterprises. It seems a very dismal picture, doesn't it? Dismal? Um, I wouldn't say necessarily. I would say yes, things are bad, but I would say things, are, things can improve a lot. We are in transition. We can come out of this um, very successfully, I would say. So how do we come out of it? Because the headlines are what they are. Well, we come out of it by, for me, firstly changing our paradigm, um, realizing where we are, uh, changing the way we think, not looking for employment, looking to become employers, um, and taking ownership of our problems and finding solutions to those problems together, working together really. Typify what your members are going through because our diasporans watching this would love to come back and many of them would love to employ and be part of this entrepreneurial spirit. They've seen things there. They want to come back, but not all of them can get jobs and they might be joining your ranks. What do you see for them? I think there's a huge opportunity. That's the first thing. Um, obviously, you need to be able to know how to take advantage of those opportunities. You need support. Um, you need... Uh, awareness um, of the different environments. Probably Zimbabwe is not in the best shape right now. Um, the ch key challenges we've, we've seen are access to markets, access to funding, um, just the skills base, because your skills base as an entrepreneur is totally different to the skills base you need as a, an employer, an employee. Um, there's been problems with infrastructure and maybe problems with the policy environment. But I think all of those problems can be addressed and we just need to come together, which is why we formed this association, mm -hmm. to come together, address those challenges. You know, we need to stand together rather than try to solve them individually. So for me, it's... You know, so you have some degree of optimism? I would say I have a lot of optimism, yes. All right, so let's assume tomorrow, magically, billions of dollars flowed into our financial institutions, would all your problems go away? Not really. Um, it's not just financing. It's, like I said, building the entrepreneurial mindset, getting the experience, um, knowing how to run a business because it's not, you know, you don't wake up as an entrepreneur. You have to learn to be an entrepreneur. Okay, so, so, so let's understand this, Farai. Yes. You've got someone with the desire to have their own business, but they don't have the full skills to get there. Yes. They know the sort of business management paper, the business plan. Yes. Would it be helpful that they had someone who could go arm in arm with them to kind of Definitely. show the way? Definitely. I, I think, um, you know, this is where we also need each other. We need those experienced entrepreneurs to teach um, those upcoming entrepreneurs how to go about the game, what mistakes to avoid. Um, so you're saying partnerships could work? Yes, we need partnerships, we need mentorships, we need directorships or even just advisors. All right, so let's, let's yeah. get into the meat. Yes. Are we going to get our partnerships from the east? Are we going to get our partnerships from the west? Are we going to get our partnerships from the north or the south? I would say firstly we need to look internally um, because we do have entrepreneurs in Zimbabwe. We do have people who've made it. Um, what we're saying is let's work together. Those who've made it work with those who are trying to make it. Um, and even those who are trying to make it, let's work together. Let's not try... You know, but wouldn't people work together in a commercial sense when there's a profit motive? Yes. I see you, you see yes. me, yes. I want to go somewhere, I can't get there without you. We form, we go forward. Correct? Definitely. Profits Definitely. motivate. Yes. Surely Definitely. that's the prime part. That we see yes. opportunity yes. and it's a commercial relationship that's based on profit. Yes. Now it would seem to me that we have turned our back on all the commercial places we could find profit mm -hmm. and we've looked everywhere else where the profit is being sucked out of us and going into other countries and not developing here. Would you agree? True. Um, true. People have looked to trading um, and that's a natural consequence, I would say, because that's the easiest business to do for anyone. Um, but you have to evolve from that and you, you know, you, we have to realize the, ch the, the problems that come with that develop ourselves, start to create our own industry, start to produce rather than just trade. Um, I'll challenge you, Farah. I don't think we can begin our own industries. 
I think and you know why I'm challenging you that I don't think we can? We mm -hmm. don't have the capacity in terms of scalability, the access mm -hmm. to funds. We cannot beat the Chinese at their own game. So I would submit to you that right now that might be nice rhetoric, a nice white paper, but I don't think it's going to work on the ground. That's what I'm challenging you with. I would disagree um, because it's not all about, yes, the Chinese are there and yes, they are a big force. In fact, they are affecting even developed economies like the USA and the UK. Fantastic. This Admitted. probably comes from China. Admittedly, uh, yes, but there's always niche markets. There's always looking at different opportunities. You know, the, you, know you can only mass produce certain things. But there's things that require skills or particular skill sets. Or specialization. Specialization. There's things like you, you look at right now, the biggest business in the world is actually internet-based businesses. Um, that's skill. It, it, it can't be mass produced. You know? And if you look at um, things like WhatsApp or even Facebook, these are industries less than 10 years old. But they're now multi-billion. They're actually probably the biggest businesses in the world.